Today's not a good day. Today's not a good day. The world you know has come to an end because your child is so ill. When you're throwing a child with cancer, nobody can like prepare for that, nobody. Being at the hospital is, is uh, almost like being in a war zone. I was scared, I was scared. I didn't know what to think, I didn't know what to do. Just an emotional roller coaster. And some of the other stressors besides your child being sick is financial. And when you're not working because you have to be here, how can you afford to stay in a motel every day? It's, or even buy food. To be able to cross the street and come to the Ronald McDonald House and just breathe, and then to get hugs, and to sit in the garden and to to escape. I usually say to them, you're in the right place. This is the best place at this time in your life to be. And everybody here is uh, here to do whatever we can for you. When I think of Ronald McDonald House Charities, the first word that comes to mind is home. We call it home. When we walk across the hospital, we say, we're going home. You kind of feel like Norm from Cheers. You walk in and everybody says, hey, Daryl, how you doing? Hey, Walker, how was the clinic today? How was the hospital? How did everything go? It's like a haven in the storm. And Ronald McDonald House has been wonderful. They've taken the burden of finding a place to stay and how am I going to get back and forth to the hospital every day. We want to give families not only a room to stay in, but also programs and a sense of hope that everything will be okay. It isn't just a hotel. It's not just a bedroom. You know, we have a van driver. We have passes to all these museums and zoos and things to help them kind of relieve some stress. There's so many things that they offer, and not just to myself, but to my extended family. You know, the art therapy program, the dog therapy, secret garden. The amenities here at the Ronald McDonald House far surpassed what I expected. Um, things that we could never afford because of the burdens of uh, the financial responsibility. Last year alone, we turned away over 800 families. Each day, we turn away anywhere from 10 to 35 families. And everybody here is so kind, and they're like, we're really sorry, but nobody's checked out yet. If a family can't stay at the Ronald McDonald House, there are not many other options. So we had stayed in the hospital, like maybe a month. We slept in the family rooms there, so we wouldn't sleep. And thinking that we wouldn't have been able to make it into the Ronald McDonald House due to funding or due to not enough rooms, it would have been a nightmare. We're so grateful to the community for the generosity that they show toward the Ronald McDonald House. We would never, ever be able to keep our doors open and serve our families without our wonderful group of volunteers. The staff and the volunteer here are amazing. I'm most grateful for their support because I don't have much support and this is the most support I have had. What we hope to accomplish is to double the size of the Ronald McDonald House and to expand to 75 rooms. It's so important that we have enough rooms for our families in need. They come from all over the world because the Children's Hospital here has so many specialties and this is the place where they need to be. If I had a magic wand, my wish would be that no family would have to wait to get into the Ronald McDonald House. Ronald McDonald House kept us together. So to those private donors, thank you. I love the Ronald McDonald House. You're wonderful. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because I don't know what I'd do without you. When you're giving to the Ronald McDonald House, you're, you're giving families a place that they can call home. <laughs>